What's good, YouTube? Alex981 here, bringing you, for the very first time to this channel, the Pokemon Sacred Gold Eggluck Challenge. Ugh, it feels so good to be doing an uh, Eggluck Challenge uh, right now. Uh, it's uh, it's been quite some time since I've done my first Eggluck, which is the very first project that I did. And uh, as you guys can clearly see right now, it's um, looking a little. Uh, like it right now. I'm using DSMU uh, for uh, Pokemon Sacred Gold, which does tend to lag behind a little bit because my computer is a toaster. But that's irrelevant right now. What is relevant is how we're going to talk to you about how, so how I'm going to talk to you about how this Aglock is going to work. So before anything else, let's go ahead and. Uh, Progress through the screen. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go, there we go. Alright, so, let's, uh, before anything else, if you guys are excited, I ask you to get turned up and get involved with this project, because as you, if you aren't aware of this pro, of what an egglock is, it is a project where uh, I'm not the only one playing, but you guys are getting in involved in this project as well. Because this is a team effort, and this project can only be possible if I get support from you, the viewers. And what I mean by that is that I get eggs from you. But as we, um, since this is only just a real tutorial video of what to do and whatnot, I will go ahead and just, uh, just just go ahead and and just uh, progress through the intro of it. Now, uh, you guys are going to notice that uh, it is going to that this emulator is going to lag behind. It, it is going to stutter. I apologize for that. There's nothing I can do about it. However, that you'll only be able to suffer through this through the one to this one video. So. Don't worry, this is just the only episode where you're going to have to suffer through uh, the few moments of stutter or jitter that, that uh, this emulator is going to do. So, before anything else, let's go ahead and just get through this intro right here. Hey, it's Professor Oak! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting! Welcome to Sacred Gold or Storm Silver, which, by the way, this is Sacred Gold. A hack within a hack with an expansion of features. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know. Let me show you a native Pokemon. Uh You guys may not notice the stutter or anything like that because I have played through this intro quite a number of times today and uh it, um it happens to do that when it tries to uh, to uh, register a new event that it is trying to um, read, or I'm not sure what the right word is for it, but whenever a new event is trying to occur, it will stutter. Like say if I enter a new area, or try to choose my starter, or get a new item, it does that! So this is not, this is the only time you will see me play with DSMU for this game. Fortunately, I think I may have figured out a way to have it not stutter with um with Blaze Black and Blaze Black 2, which is weird. But anyways. The Johto and Kanto regions were known for having only a fraction of the Pokemon within its borders, but large-scale migration has brought a great variety to the region's fauna. I am not sure if Professor Oak ever mentioned Pokemon as fauna, but whatever. There are new challenges awaiting you, and a great amount of differences in how you'll raise your Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? Well, at least you're being polite about it. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm a boy. I'm pretty sure I'm a boy. Yes, I am a boy. Please tell me your name. My name is Alex. So if you guys aren't aware of what's going on, uh, this is Pokemon Sacred... 
Pokemon Sacred Gold, which is a ROM hack of Pokemon Heart Gold. It is, it is a, meaning by that, it's made changes to Heart Gold, so some things that, so, 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 you're gonna see things that are a lot different, and this is a ROM hack created by a, oh, wait, what the hell? Ah, oh, damn it! I forget that, that the certain, that the, I forget that my X button in this game, in, in the DS emulator is not, the A, a button, freaking controller. Uh, why do these emulators have to be so different on the controls? Why can't they just be the same? Yes, my name is Alex. So, like, you're gonna see, um... Some Pokemon with different abilities. You're gonna see Pokemon with different stats. If you're that... If you're that attentive to notice the difference on the stats. And... The gym leaders, all the gym leaders, will have six Pokemon. And some of them will have competitive move sets, so it is going to be intense, to say the least. Alex, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Let's go to the world of Pokémon. I'll see you later. If you ever want to find out some of the changes, check out check the documents that should have come with your game. Most, if not all, information you need should be contained somewhere. But play as you like, for you might be for you might enjoy playing the unknown. Either way, be sure to have fun. From Dre. And uh, I think I ought to mention this. Uh, I have played a little bit of Pokemon Sacred Gold, so I do know some of the things that will happen with uh, Pokemon Sacred Gold. So uh, it's going to be very strange. But before I continue on any further, as I go through this story and whatnot, I will explain to you about... Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I should probably put a speed up button on my controller. Let me see. Uh, control config. And actually, let's go ahead and change the buttons to this. Wait, what? Hold on. Uh,. Yeah. Okay. It's so it's so weird. Okay. Now uh speed up. Oh. Well I did nothing. I changed nothing. Oh well. Let's just continue on. I'm just gonna have to suffer through the speed up. Without the lack of speed up. So as you guys can clearly notice, um on my emulator it is very the music is very slow everything is moving very slow and I'm even using this with the uh, 0 0.911 JIT emulator so it's I heard it's like the fastest version that you could get out there for um, when it comes to des Decimu so oh that just sounds horrid oh god uh, I'm I am just very much tempted to just uh, just use not use the controller and just so I can get access to the speed up button. You know I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So yes, let's go right here. Yeah, speed button is gonna look very choppy right now. So uh, as I go through this uh, little tutorial right now, um, I'll explain to you the rules of the egg lock. Now first off. It is a it is a uh, variant of the Nuzlocke challenge. If you don't know what the Nuzlocke challenge is, I will explain it to you right now. Uh, a Nuzlocke is where you have two simple rules. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Where you have two simple rules, where the first rule is is um you can only get you can only be able to get one encounter for each area slash route. So that means uh, if I happen to come across a Weedle in a, in a route, then I have to catch it. I can't, I can't pick and choose who I want. As like in the, uh, as like in the um, original games, it's like, like in, in uh, you know, normal playthroughs, it's like that. 
So let's go ahead and pick a Pokemon. Now, now the next part I'm going to uh, explain a little bit about. Um, uh, if a Pokemon, the second rule is, if a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and must be either released or put into a dead box. And you cannot use it anymore except for the purposes of HM, of HM slaves. So like, if you assign them as an HM, assign them with an HM and you need it, like say, uh, fly or, or, um, strength, then you can go ahead and do that. But for what I'm understand, uh, Drayano has made changes to cut and, uh, some of the HMs to make them more useful, so it's not like, it's not like, it's, it's less of a burden to have, should I say. And the next part is, and the next rule is, is, uh, containing the egg lock. Basically what this says is that for every Pokemon that I get through either, like, a catch, or as a gift Pokemon, or anything like that, um, it is used as a token for an egg that you guys send in to me. So, like, say, um, this starter right here, whatever starter I choose, it's not, it's not gonna matter because uh, the starter is just gonna be used as a token for me to, to uh, get, to get an egg. And it also plays into a role where, um, depending on the level that it is. It also um, determines on how many rare candies I use to make it at the same level as the Pokemon that I traded the egg for. So the starter is level five. So the first Pokemon that I, the first Pokemon egg that I select, will be a level, will be uh, at level one. So as all eggs hatch at level one, I have to use four rare candies to get it up to level five, the same level as say this Chikorita right here, which I am going to choose because I like Chikorita and I don't care what anybody says. And of course, um, I'm... You know what? I'll go ahead and give it a, give it a nickname. Let's call it Token, so that you guys can know that this uh, Chikorita is a token. So that's pretty much what it is. I can't use this Chikorita only... I can only use this Chikorita for the purposes of having an... Uh, of getting an egg. And as you guys can clearly see, it is... Um, well, actually, you guys can't see just yet. You're about to see in a moment. It is a Chikorita level 5 with a calm nature. So that means that when I get... when I swap out an egg, I use four rare candies, and that's another thing I'm going to explain. I know people are might get mad at me for doing this, but I've done it before in my uh, first egg lock that I tried to do, which was not very successful. I'm going to admit that right now. Um, I used a cheat to get 999 rare candies, but only once would I ever use it, though. So I can't just keep loading myself up with rare candies on and on and on, and I can only use those rare candies for the sole purpose of uh, leveling them up to the same level as, say, the, say as this Chikorita. So like, if I get an egg from, if I get like say a Ralts, I can't level the Ralts all the way up to a level 100. No, it doesn't work like that. I can only use the rare candies for the sole purpose of putting them up to the same level as the Pokemon that I swapped uh, swapped out the t for the token with. And any rare candies that I do find out in the overworld, like say I find it out on the ground, I will use the rare candy immediately to a random Pokemon. So it's all to make it uh, have it be legitimate and all this other stuff. And as you can see right now, this Chikorita has Natural Cure. This is not an ability that it normally has. This is an ability that that Drayano gave it to make it to make Chikorita more usable. Which, honestly, Natural Cure is pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. And so we're gonna go ahead and move right on out. Uh, let me see. Oh, there, there we go. So I went ahead and gone gone ahead and explained that. So let's go ahead and get out of this town.
And I'm sorry if I'm using the speed up button just a little bit too much right now and everything looks choppy, but really if I don't use the speed up button, it'll just go like this. Everyone a little walking all slow motion and whatnot, so so I'm only using the speed up button for this particular moment because I'm going to use a different emulator that at least runs more smoothly and uh, doesn't uh, cause so much um, doesn't cause so much stutter, should I say? Kind of wish I actually could just get on the road right now because I want to be able to get get get, get going. Please, no, mom, mom, please let me go. I got people to, I got people to entertain. Oh, oh god. Okay, so this is another thing with the, uh, with this game. Uh, it oh, I from what I've seen, only uh, Dreano's games do this. Um, in fact, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my key items and register the bike so I can actually move a little faster. Okay. There we go. Oh god. Okay. Even with the even with the bike, it moves so slow. Okay. Okay. Let's go through here. Let's hope that we know we're gonna get into a battle. Oh Jesus. Uh, let's get right on out of here. Everything moves in all slow motion. It's quite, quite ridiculous, actually. And now we're gonna have to talk to this old man. Oh, Jesus. I swear, I never liked old men in Pokemon games. They just, they just take so much of my time when I got plenty of stuff to do, like trying to become the champion of of the region, trying to stop the evil team like Team Rocket from like enslaving everybody, and just, just, just you're not, you're not worth my time, old man. I never just like to note how fast this old man is moving, even though I'm on a bike. Which is incredibly weird. And now I got the old rock. Okay, so now, now, okay, yeah, that, that's, that's done, that's done. Thank you, thank you, let me go. Let my people be free. Okay, there we go. Alright, now, before anything else, let's go ahead and save. Oh, and all of a sudden now the game starts moving a lot faster when I'm saving. So, um, that's the explanation right now. If uh, if I left out any details, the full rules of the list will be down below in the description. There will be some things like the uh, duplicates clause and the um, and the uh, and the species clause that will. I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like I shouldn't use the dupes clause because um, it would be unfair for people who send in their eggs and it's like sometimes it's not their fault that I just happen to have the same, get the same Pokemon from a different person and that's not fair. So I'm, I'm thinking that I, I will put a limit for a number of duplicate Pokemon that I will root that uh, I'm gonna receive in in uh, in my um like say if I get uh, a Ry Ryolu from one person then and I hatch another egg and it's another Ryolu it would be a duplicate and of course it would be unfair for me to just pass over it because I have to hatch a Ryolu um, first so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set a duplicate limit. So if I happen to get, say, my limit will be three. If I happen to get a fourth, a fourth duplicate, I'm going to have to pass it over because I know 
I know it's a little unfair, but also it's also unfair to those who have to um, get a unique Pokemon that I've never used before and whatnot, and I haven't. Seen, it, it would be a little. It would be unfair for me to continuously get duplicates after duplicates after duplicates when, when, um, when uh, I want to be able to use variety in my teams. Not to say I wouldn't want to get a, to get another Ryolu. Not saying that, but. And not to say I wouldn't want a Charmander, a whole bunch of Charmanders, like, I'd be the Charmander general over here. <laughs> but, um, it would just be, it would just be a little unfair to those who did, um, put in unique Pokemon. But at the same time, I want to be fair to those who have sent in their Pokemon and felt like that they didn't waste their time sending a duplicate. So, I'm going to set a limit for duplicate Pokemon to be three. So, that's it. And if I do happen to find myself a shiny for my first encounter in a new route, I'm going to keep the shiny. I don't care. I will, I, I, I'm, I'm, actually, no, it shouldn't matter. I mean, I'm still going to use it as a token, whatever. And I'm still going to keep it, so, whatever. But, um, yeah, I think I pretty much explained all the rules. Um, if I left out anything, I will put it down in the description down below. And, of course, I will have a tutorial video on how to send me eggs in this video. So, don't touch that dial now. I'll be right back to explain to you how you can create your eggs with PokeGen. And I will also have, I will also send the .save file so that you guys can be able to um, easily uh, put in like three eggs. And then, and then I'll show you guys how to PokeGen eggs and I'll show you how you send them off to me. So, don't touch that dial now, we'll be right back. I'm Alex991, and I will see you in just a little bit. Bye! What's good YouTube, Alex991 here back again to give you a tutorial on how to use PokeGen to create eggs for the egg log that you're going to send to me. Now, the first thing that you're going to need, oh, one of the one of the things that you're going to need is, of course, right here, PokeGen. As you can see, that I've clicked and highlighted right here. It's one of the uh, it's one of the more reliable tools. I mean, sure, there's Pokemon to A save, but I only really use that for, uh, say, Pokemon Fire Red Omega because um, of how uh, Fire Red Omega works. But um, yeah, uh, PokeGen, it's, it's a reliable tool, it's very good at what it does, which is generating Pokemon, whether they're just like actual Pokemon themselves, or generating Pokemon eggs, which is what we're going to be doing. And another thing that you're going to be needing for this, um, for this tutorial is my save file, which is the Pokemon PokemonSacredGold.dsv save file, which I will show you, uh, hold, hold, hold on a second. There we go, right there. Right there. You see the Pokemon Sacred Gold.dsv file. That's one of the things that you will need, which I will provide in the description down below. Don't worry, I got you guys covered. And um, one other thing that I think that actually no, that's it that you need. That's that's all the things you need. So let's go ahead and get started. Bring this over here. There you go. Now everyone can see. All right, it's time for show and tell. Now, first step is bring up the dot the the DSV file. Uh oh, actually, don't 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 mind those. Don't don't mind those right there. Those are just uh, practice ones that I tried to um, be able to work with and whatnot. It, it, it's not relevant to the tutorial at all. Don't worry. It's, it's what you will have at the end of this. So let's go over here to the battery file. And uh, this is one thing, uh, this is just for me personally, but the easiest way if you're trying to um, get to your save file of, of your emulated game for say, um, your, uh, say like Decimier, the first place you check is the battery file. 
And as you can see right here, there's Pokemon Sacred Gold. So let's go ahead and click that. And right now you can see Chikorita, the starter that I chose. Um, because I like Chikorita and I don't care what anybody says. But if you see this, that means it, what you're seeing is correct. Now, to check just in case, you need to make sure that Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver is selected. Even though it says Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, it's still Sacred Gold and Storm Silver that you're really just modifying. And now, what we're going to be doing for our test subject is going to create a uh, Flame Heart, which is my mascot, the Charmander. So we're going to go and choose Charmander as our test subject. There you go, Charmander. And next we're going to be doing uh, is come up with a nickname, and I'm going to call it Flameheart, which is the name of every first Charmander that I ever get. The first Charmanders I ever receive in any game shall be named Flameheart. Doesn't matter if they have booty natures or anything like that. Every single one of them shall be named Flameheart. The firstborn. And next up, oh, and uh, uh, the experience, don't mess with that. Moving on. <laughs> uh, the reason why you don't mess with the experience is that it can hatch at level 1. So that's why you want to make it uh, have it zero experience. So that way you can hatch at level 1. Next up, nature. We're going to give it the timid nature because timid is a very strong nature for a Charmander, particularly in um, Gen, Gen 4 because, because uh, it's um, obviously not Gen 6 where Unfortunately, Charizard is not as great as I want it to be, but we're also going to give it choice specs. Um, I honestly don't know how to make it work with the held items, because for some reason, when I turn it into an egg, it, um, it has, the egg has the item, but for some reason, I can't, uh, it, when it hatches, the egg, the, the item just disappears. I don't know why. Or maybe it's in the back. Or maybe it's in the back somewhere. I don't know. I'll double check. But for some reason, held items don't work. It works for uh, Gen 5 with um, with uh, Pokemon Black, Blaze Black, Volt White, Volt White 2, all that stuff. So if you guys can figure out, if somebody in the comments down below can help me figure out why this is and how to make it work, Please let me know. I'll be I'll be more than happy to give you credit in the video with the YouTube editor explaining your name as well as what to do. And then next up, the happiness. Uh, also, you want to set this to zero. And the egg. Uh, make sure that this is checked as egg. Otherwise, it will hatch as like. Let's try this for example. If you don't, it'll just be this. See. You can clearly see Charmander right there. We don't want that. What we do want is it to be an egg. So when you do that, bam, there it is. It appears as an egg, but we're not done yet. So we're going to go ahead and set its ability. Now I know for a fact that um, Charmander has solar power in um, Pokemon Sacred Gold Storm Silver, which is a change that Drayano did to make Charmander just a little bit better, which I am very happy for for uh, Drayano doing that because after Stealth Rocks, I just I I just cried a little on the inside. <laughs> like it, I cry thinking about thinking about Charizard in Gen Four. But anyways, moving on, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna set the origin to Heart Gold. Because that's the game that we're playing. I'm not sure if it matters, but I'm just setting it as hard gold just in case it does matter. And as well as the uh, trainer trainer information, I uh, don't think the location even matters. But um, if it does, well, you can you you can set the location to be whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And you can also set what Pokeball it can be in. It can be like a you can be a dive ball <laughs> trying to catch a Charmander with a dive ball. <laughs> Or you can give it a Master Ball for whatever reason. I mean, Charmander's Charmander. I'll be more than happy to catch it with a Master Ball. Because I like Charmander. Um, here we go with the bias. And next up, we go to the stats. Now this is 
uh, one of the crucial parts that I want to iterate right here, reiterate right here. Now, this is something that you guys cannot mess up. The max IVs that a Pokemon can get for each IV is 31. And if you feel like it, you don't really want to mess it up and you just want to randomize it, you can very well go ahead and just do that. You can randomize it, randomize the IVs, you randomize the EVs, and then it just be all hunky-dory and whatnot. If you want to give me the best Pokemon that you could possibly be, I will t explain to you how you can do it. Now, of course, you got to make sure that the, uh, the um, IVs do not exceed 31. That's the max IV that a Pokemon can get. And I will explain to you about the EVs in just a little bit. So you can do something like, say, uh, 31, all all 31 perfect IVs across the board. Six perfect IVs. That's what um, what my friends tell me about the um, say uh, about about how like hey I just got a Pokemon that's got perfect IVs. That that's what it, pretty much what it means. 31 31 IVs all across the board. That this means that it's perfect IVs. Now, what, all, what IVs also affect is the hidden power. So, if you guys want to try and give me a Pokemon, like say, Magnemite with HP Fire, you have to give it specific IVs in order for it to get HP Fire. Which I believe, I can't remember exactly how you do it, but there are instructions on Google to tell you how to do that. And I might, uh, if I can find the, a good source to be able to do it, I will also link it down in the description down below. And so there you go, perfect 31 uh, IVs right here. Now the next thing uh, that I'm going to explain to you right now is the EVs. Now this is very important and very crucial, which will either make or break uh, you having a Pokemon, ha having a Pokemon seen in my party. The EVs cannot exceed 510, as you can clearly see right here. Because that's the max EVs that a Pokemon can have, 510 EVs. So you can give it something like uh, 252 speed, 252 special attack, and 6 defense, like this Charmander for, for example. That's the max EVs that it can have, which is perfectly fine. And as you can see, if I randomize it, it's still 510 EVs total, because that's the max it can have. Although technically, um, Pokemon uh, really has, uh, if you do like 252, um, 252, 252 uh, EVs, like say 252 special attack and 252 speed, Normally, um, this would be the real total, but it's it's supposed to be. This is what it's supposed to be: 252 special attack, 252 speed, and four defense. That's the that's the max EVs. But there are two EVs left over, which really do not matter. So you can give it like uh, say six EVs, and it still wouldn't matter. That's 510. So that's 510 total. Again, make sure you do not exceed 510 EVs. If you do, I will not have your egg featured in the box and will replace it with a different egg. Believe me, I will check. But other than that, um, you can randomize it. You can give it randomized IVs, randomized EVs, whatever. If you're gonna do it specifically, make sure that you don't that you don't exceed 31 IVs for any of the IVs, and that you don't exceed 510 for the total EVs. So let's move on to the attack to the attack slab. Now you can see that all of this is blank, and the way that you can figure out you can uh, from when you try and give me an egg, you can give a Pokemon egg moves if it can learn the egg moves. Like, say, there are some Pokemon that cannot get egg moves at all, like Magnemite, unfortunately, because, for one, it's part of the mineral egg group, which I will go into detail later, which I really don't need to explain, because this isn't a breeding tutorial, this is a Pokegen tutorial. 
Now for Charmander, it does have egg moves, and I do know for a fact that in Gen 4, uh, Heart Gold specifically, it can get it can get Ancient Power, it can get Dragon Dance, it can get uh, Outrage, it can get uh, Flare Blitz, and which is abnormally powerful for a Charmander to have, which Flare Blitz, but uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to give it Scratch. No, no, not Screech. There we go. And then next I'm going to give it Ancient Power. And then I'm going to give it Dragon Dance. Uh, I'd like to explain uh, real quick that I double checked on Cerebi and in uh, uh, Diamond and Pearl, Platinum, uh, Heart Gold, Charmander can get these egg moves. You can get these moves. You can even get Flare Blitz, which is a thing. I mean, it's ridiculously powerful, but it's a thing. It can happen. Charmander can get that. And also, you do not want to mess with this right here, the PP Ups tab. It is, uh, and just just leave it as is. Just get the moves. Make sure, um, for reference, make sure you check on Cerebi because that's a good area to check for egg to to check if uh, what um, what moves it can get by level up and what it can get as egg moves. And make sure you check on the Diamond and Pearl. Diamond Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Pokédex, which I will actually I will uh, give a link to Cerebi down below in the description, so you guys won't be like completely lost trying to trying to find it and whatnot. Because um, I know some of you out there uh, have been doing this before, but this is just to the benefit of those who have never done this before. So I'm just sort of leading those who have never done this before to the water, as so in a manner of speaking. And then next up uh, is the OT Miscellaneous tab. Uh, you can give uh, give the Pokemon an original trainer name to sort of tell me uh, what uh, who I got this egg from. If you want to do that, and you can also give it markers to designate uh, me uh, personally. Whenever I send off eggs, I just I just uh, give it something like a star to so I know for a fact that. That Pokemon that that PokeTuber has is an egg from me. So yeah, it's um, it's it's very it's it's a it's a nice little thing. It's not really needed. And then after that, make sure you got everything all checked out. And then the next step you do is you give it a PID. This is a way. It's a hidden value that every Pokemon has. It um, it's how the game can. The PID is how the game can perceive the Pokemon as um, something that is legal. So if it doesn't have a PID number, uh, the game will think that it's illegal and it will just, it's just bad things will happen. That's basically, make sure you give it a PID number. So we're going to go ahead and find a PID for it. And we're going to uncheck Shiny. And here we go. And as you can see, it has Charmander, the species. It's got the timid nature, it's a male, and it's got the either ability, but we're going to go ahead and check it as one, because we know that Charmander only gets one, and as you can clearly see, it's got all the values correct, it's got all the correct values, and it's got the PID number. So we're going to press OK, and then after that, you right click right here, and then set, and there's the egg. It's all complete. That is all you do, really. And then, well, not really, but um, there's one more step, but it's pretty menial. But other than that, you're pretty much done. Uh, next thing you do is you save the Pokemon from tabs, and you, and then next thing you do is uh, I'll show you right here. It'll just jerk back as soon as I let go of it. You can see right here the save as type. It says 136 dash byte PC Pokemon file dot PKM. So you're making a dot PKM file. So give it a name, whatever you want it to be. Me, I'm just going to call it Flame Heart. So I can easily be able to tell it apart. 
And there you go. You're pretty much done. And uh, next thing you do, uh, if you want to make another egg, you have to... Well, I don't think you have to, but... But we're actually going to test this out. Usually, uh, like, there is... Uh, if you want to make like uh, multiple eggs, which by the way I'm making a max limit of three eggs for each person. So max limit for me to accept from, from one person is a, a max of three eggs per person. So if you want to make multiple eggs, usually you get out, you exit out a Poke Generator and load up the file again. But we're gonna try something a little different. Like we're gonna try and god damn this mouse, I hate it when it double taps. We're going to try and create another egg. So, let's go over here. And we're going to test this out, actually. Because I've never actually done this before, so we're actually going to test this out. You're going to watch me show my ass right now. So let's go ahead and try Brawls. Because I like Brawls. And we're going to give it a nickname. I'm going to nickname this Ragna. Which is a name for an egg that I created for uh, Sacred Fire Negro, who is another Poke YouTuber, po Pokemon YouTuber. And the reason why I call it Ragna is because of this. I make it in I make it in male, and then I give it a specific nature, a very specific nature, Jolly. And the reason why I make it Jolly is because I had a plan for it to become a Gallade. So, I don't, although to be fair, I don't actually know where you can find Dunstones in the game, so I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and give it uh, again. Go right here. I'm going to give it Synchronize because that's an ability that it can have. And then next, we're going to have it uh, check all over here. We make it. Uh, here is a Pokeball, and we're instead of uh, 252 special attack EVs, we're going to give it zero of that, and we're going to give it 252 attack EVs. But then we're going to switch around the defense to switch it to six special defense, and there you go. And that's a Ralts. And then the next thing we do is I've also checked this out on Gen 4 Learn Set. Uh, it gets Growl. Not. I don't even know what that was. Gr gr growl? Gr gr I, I can't even say it differently <laughs> with the way it's spelled. Uh, and he also gets Will O Wisp. It gets Growl. It's, growl is the only move that uh, Ralts gets from level 1. So make sure you give it an egg move, like an attacking egg move. Preferably Shadow Sneak. Uh, it also gets Will-O-Wisp. It gets Shadow Sneak. And it also gets Confuse Ray by, by, by uh, egg moves. So Will-O-Wisp, Shadow Sneak, and Confuse Ray are egg moves that it can get. And as you can see right here, all right here. And that's it. That's pretty much it. You and the next thing, again, PID number. I'm gonna search. It's a jolly male, one ability. And it's not a shiny. And we're gonna go ahead and press OK. And then set. And there you go. There is the Ralts. Now to make sure that this works, we're gonna go and check out the data. And as you can clearly see, when I right click to view data, it views the data of the Charmander that we just created. And when I right click over here, it shows me the data of the Ralts that we just made. And there you go, it's all done. Now we're gonna, sh now we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you the fruits of our labor. Now, there are two ways that you can get the eggs into your game if you're going to be doing an egg like yourself. One method that I know of, there's one method that I know of, the other method I'd have to look up right now and I just, I, 
I'm, it's late right now and I don't want to try and keep looking it up, but I'm going to tell you what it is right now. Now, what you're going to do, if you want to get, if you want to, uh, if you're doing an agog yourself, which I'm going to show you how you do it, is code generator. Oh, hold on a second. You select both of the eggs, go to code generator, and you'll see right here is you got the uh, selected Pokemon right here. And then the next thing you do, generate. And you can see that this 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 is the code right here for the uh, Charmander. Now, this is why I no don't really like this method, but it's the method that I have to work with because um, it's what I know right now and it's what I want to use, is uh, both of these Pokemon have different codes. So if you want to have them all in the game, this is how you do it. Now, I'm sure there's a much easier method without the action replay codes. Um, if there is, then I will do it and I will also... Um, explain it in in the uh, YouTube um, editor thing that uh, with the annotations I will talk about it with the annotations but here you go there's the Charmander right here you just copy and you just copy that and you paste it to say on your notepad and then you get the other other egg copy it and then paste it to the uh, to the notepad as well and then you save it then after that, you close it, and then you close this, and you're pretty much done. Now we're going to show you uh, the fruits of our labor, so I will see you guys in just a little bit. And hey guys, welcome back to the game, and we're about to see the fruits of our labors. Now, uh, we're back into slow as all hell, De decime, and you guys are going about to see how slow the game moves right now. Now, uh, as I said before, you need the codes, the action replay codes, for each of the Pokemon. Which is sort of a bad method for me to use, but it's a method I'm going to use nonetheless. Because um, if the other method is easier, then I'm just going to go ahead and use that. And I'll explain to you how you do that with the annotations. Now, first thing you do is go over here to cheats and you see the cheat list right here I mean you guys can kind of see but whoa whoa what happened holy crap <laughs> some of my windows went away I was like okay that's weird and then we're going to go ahead and make our codes so now we're gonna go ahead and get the Charmander. So let's go ahead and get the egg. We're gonna go ahead and copy and paste and give it a name like uh, Flameheart. I'm just gonna give it the name called Flameheart Egg. And there you go. It's got the action right there. Action replay. And then the next thing we do is we get the Ralts egg code. Which, again, copy, paste, call it Ragna, the Ragna egg, and there we go. And it's saved. Now, usually when you do that, the next thing that you would do is just go straight to the PC and be able to... Um, Oh, hold on. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm just going to speed this up because this is just slow as molasses. And as you can see, it's not there. So the next thing you do, so we're going to go back over here. And I'm going to activate the code, which for me is right shift. So, right shift. And we're going to go and open the PC again. And as you can see, 
there's our Pokemon eggs right there. Flameheart and Ragna. Holding the Choice Specs and holding the Dawnstone. Although, Choice Specs is going to go away very quickly. Now, we're going to move this into the party. Now, this is just for tutorial purposes. The, this Charmander is not going to be uh, my starter. It's not going to be replacing uh, Chikorita. This is just uh, this, the uh, test and whatnot. So, we're just going to speed this up. It's unfortunate I can't run while using the speed up button, which is kind of sad, but oh well, oh well, oh well. Now I believe there's a, a code where it has faster egg hatching so that you can just take one step and the egg will just hatch right there. I mean, as long as it's, you know, at zero steps right there. Now uh, before uh, I do hatch the egg though, I'm going to take a look clearly see it holds the item choice specs and it's got the master ball right there I'm just gonna keep on moving yeah I'm definitely going to try and use the faster egg hatching code because this takes way too long um, <laughs> shoot though oh Okay, so here we go, and there we go, Charmander hatched from the egg. And yes, I would like to give it a nickname, even though you're not going to be with me. Someday, Flameheart, you, we will be back to, to kill everything with fire. And there we go, Flame Heart. So aptly named. And we're gonna go right here. As you can see, it is level one. It is timid nature. So that means that the uh, egg has been has been uh, hatched the way it has been. And next, we're gonna take a look at its stats. And it's got oh, it's got Blaze. Well, in that case, I think. Well, in that case, I think it's just. It's just gonna be like that unless um, something changes with the uh... huh? Could have sworn it was solar power when I when I gave when I gave it that ability. But oh well. But as you can see, it's got the ability Blaze. It's got Scratch, Ancient Power, Dragon Dance, and Flare Blitz. So as aside from the ability that it shouldn't that it that it shouldn't have in this game, except that it has it right now. Uh, is there so that means that the egg hatching was a success but of course um, as this is a Drayano hack and things will balance out once it becomes a once uh, some like uh, if it's a pre-evolved Pokemon and it has uh, an ability that it shouldn't have it should balance out when um, when it uh, evolves so it's pretty much the game will balance it out although you give me a mall while or or Lapras. Good luck with that. Um, although, if if it isn't an ability that uh, that it should that it shouldn't have, I could just go into Pokegen and just fix it. I mean, it's as easy as that. If it's like a Pokemon that uh, has like one evolution and whatnot, but that's pretty much it. Um, I pretty much don't have to show you Ragna because it'll just be the same thing. So. That's it for this video. Uh, so yeah, send me eggs. I will I will uh, send you the email address in the description down below. Send me a max of three eggs, no more than three. If you want to send me two or one eggs, that's fine. Just no more than three. And follow the instructions as I have said in this tutorial. If you have any questions or you're confused or something's wrong, then be sure to explain your problem in the comments because I cannot help you unless you let me. So, that's it for this episode. Um, I will stop accepting eggs. Say, what's a good day? Uh, Sunday, I think? Sunday at... Sunday at 3... No. 
yeah, 3, 3 p.m. Central Time. So that is, uh, let me see. That's March 8th. So March 8th will be the cutoff point for the eggs. And uh, then after that, I will put in all the eggs and then I will start recording the episodes and then we'll just go from there. So, if you guys are excited, please leave me a like in, in this video, share it, and subscribe to the Night Brigade because your support is and always will be appreciated. I don't know about you, but I am just so turned up right now. I can't wait to get this project started again. Now, the last project wasn't, uh, that, the last, uh, egg lock project wasn't a success, but that was mostly because me of not being really good at sharing, like, this video and just telling everybody about it. It's like, but now, um, I feel like I know how to do it better this time, but I can only make this work if you guys help me. So, again... If you, if you want to be a part of this project and you want to feel like you just had a hand in being a part of something, do not hesitate and send me eggs. So, um, at this point I'm just pretty much rambling right now. Um, I'm Alex981. If, again, if you have any questions about what I'm, what I'm doing, what I'm talking about, or if you have a problem with uh, creating the eggs, be sure to let me know in the comments down below, and I will be more than happy to help you. So, that's it for me today. I'm going to get up out. I'm Alex981. Bye! Oh, and don't worry. We're not gonna, I'm not going to be using Decime for this. It's, it, it, it's going to be with a, a faster emulator, or more stable, should I say. So, bye!